Doc, did you want to say anything? You don't have to. I'm happy to, sir. Or All right. Uh, okay. Well. Whatever you like. All right. <laughs> yes. A question on the Chevron CEO's complaint today. He said that your administration has largely criticized the oil and gas industry and at times vilified it, and that the administration would need to take a change in approach in order to make progress on, on reducing energy prices and to increase supply. Do you have a reaction to that, sir? It's mildly sensitive. I didn't know they'd get their feelings hurt that quickly. Look, we need more refining capacity. This idea that they don't have oil to drill and to bring up is simply not true. This piece of the Republicans talking about Biden shut down fields, wrong. There are 9,000 of them, okay? So they, then we ought to be able to work something out whereby they're able to increase refining capacity and still not give up on transitioning to renewable energy. They're both within realm of possibility. Mr. President, if you were to decide to go for a federal gas tax holiday, do you believe Congress would support that? And how would you feel about the fact that those funds are used for something that is a big priority for you, repair of roads and infrastructure and all of that? Is that worth the We have the a giant offering? infrastructure bill we passed. Giant. 1.2. One trillion two hundred billion dollars. So you'd be worth it would be worth it for you to sure. We, it's not like you know. It's not like before. Look, it will have some impact, but it's not going to have an impact on major road construction and major repairs. Sounds like you may have made a decision. Well, let me put it this way: I'm in the process. I'll have a decision before the week is out. But you asked me an explicit question about whether or not how would I feel? Is it going to in fact make it difficult to maintain our roads? The answer is we have plenty of capacity to do that. And do you think Mr. President, 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 are you going to talk to President Xi before you make any decision on the China tariff? Do you want to have an engagement with him before you do any, anything on that? I plan on having a conversation with President Xi. We haven't set a time yet. Mr. President, any changes on your planned trip to Israel, given what's happened with the parliament? No. Mr. President, I think you spoke with Larry Summers recently, and he just said that in order to defeat inflation, you would have to accept higher unemployment. What would be your answer to that? Well, there's other, uh, there's other economists who don't think that's the case, and we're in the process of working through all of this. Have you received a briefing on the guns legislation that senators say that they've gotten to a legislative text point? A very brief briefing before I walked in the room to make sure I say, let them announce it, and then I'll speak to it. Are you satisfied? Let them announce it, and I'll speak to it. Mr. President, are, Mr. President, are you uh, confident you have, I know you're looking for more money from Congress for the, this vaccine campaign and for, for COVID funding going into the fall. Uh, how much of the supply of vaccines for these small children uh, is there, and, and how many of the nation's kids will you be able to get vaccinated before you need more money uh, from Congress? Well, we'll get through at least this year. We, we do need more money, but we don't just need more money for vaccines for children eventually. We need more money to plan for the second pandemic. There's going to be another pandemic. We have to think ahead. And that's not something the last outfit did very well. That's something we've been doing for fairly well. That's why we need the money. Mr. Thank you all very much. I have a clip, sir. Um, President Sir Boris Johnson said recently there's Ukraine fatigue. Uh, there are some leaders who are calling for negotiations with, with Putin. Are you afraid that there's a fracture within this alliance that, that, that you said has been united so far? No, I'm not afraid. But what I do think is there at some point this is uh, going to be a bit of a waiting game what the Russians can sustain and what Europe is going to be prepared to sustain. And uh, I think we have to, that's one of the things we're going to be speaking at, uh, in Spain about. Thank you all so very, very much. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. That's perfect. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here. And let's go.